Oh, that might be a good one, actually. Let's go! Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Ericsson card to review today. We're taking a look at a card that is 5'11", high, high work rates, right-footed, four-star skills with a five-star weak foot. In regards to in-game player traits, he does not have the finesse shot trait or the uh, outside foot shot trait. In-game attributes, uh, we decided to give him the finisher chemistry style. Why? Because I want to increase his finishing as much as possible, because a card like Ericsson for now, I mostly see being used in the cam position, and I don't mind that he has 91 acceleration with 87 sprint speed in that cam spot, as long as I can improve his agility, balance, and dribbling as much as possible while giving him the shooting boost that I feel like he requires, right? Because if we give him the finisher chemistry style, guys, you're essentially making his finishing perfect. You're making his dribbling really, really good. So hopefully that actually translates well in game, because again, this is a car that could potentially get upgraded. And if he does get upgraded, the main stat that needs to be improved is going to be in the pace department right because the thing about this card is that he has the unique body type to work with right which is obviously a very very nice thing to work with so 91 acceleration 87 sprints we will work with in game uh shooting for base card stats is set up really nicely but we do need to give him the finisher to make it as good as possible base card stats for passing is good you don't have to look at that too much uh people are giving him an engine because they want the extra pace on the car which i obviously understand but it's the finishing that you definitely need to improve in my opinion uh, but we'll see how it is in game obviously defending uh he doesn't have any defensive stats so it's okay i guess right for a midfielder can't go wrong with it um, playing in mostly in the cam position. And then for physical, he has 99 for stamina. To be honest, if his unique body type works well with his dribbling, and then he gets the pace boost in the future, this is a card that could potentially actually play the left mid, right mid position really well because of that high, high work rate. High, high work rates is a fantastic work rate to have in the side positions as well as the cam spot. So I am curious to see how he's going to play in those areas. But... For now, we will be using the... What I'll actually do is I'll copy Andy's tactics over here so that I don't mess with his stuff too much. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just copy that and just call it copy, and then Andy can delete that afterwards. Um... Okay, so we'll go here. We're going to be using the 4 one 2 and 2 Again, I am going to be mostly using him in that cam spot to see how he moves across the pitch. Uh, so we'll switch to this one right here. Nice little cheeky 4 one 2 and 2 Okay. And we'll switch some players. So Roberto Carlos, Barella, right here, Zambrota. Uh, Zambrota will switch with Mbabu. Tap sub over here. Lozano, Nedved, Cantona. Cantona needs to play over here. Lozano up top. Yes, sir. Nangolin, Cantona. Uh, and then we'll switch that over there. Uh, no, Cantona will actually play over here in the middle. No, we'll put Ericsson over here in the middle. Yeah, Nedved, Nanglin, Barella, Lozano. Cool. And then we'll just do this for the CDM. And then this for the center mids. Tactics will be uh, 6 and 7. Balanced, 5 and 5. Cool. Let's go try them out. Ericsson has a go. Ooh. That 5-star weak foot's going to be helpful to work with, I think, for a few situations here and there. Yeah, so his skill moves are not, like, too saucy, but he has the 4-star, which is very nice to be able to work with, at least for the meta of the game. Oh, lovely stuff. I do appreciate the explosiveness after the pass right there. That was actually very, very helpful. Boom, immediate, 5-star weak foot, good strike. That's what I mean, though, right? Like, with the finisher, you need that finishing boost. Because it works well with the shot power and stuff, right? So. Dribbling's not too bad there. I did do that initial run myself. So it wasn't necessarily him that did that right there. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll definitely take it. I think Ericsson actually has good free kicks on him, too. Oh, it's Roberto Carlos. No. Where is he? First one? Give it a try from this distance. Why not? Oh, that might be a good one, actually. 
Let's go! EA, fix your replays, because that I like you can't see anything. <laughs> oh, you can from this though. Look at this. Cheese! That's like that real life free kick he scored for Inter, eh? I forget which game it was, man. It was a sick free kick though. It might have been like a last second goal, I forget. The visitors have had total control of possession. If you don't control the ball, long way out there. Ah, why not? Uh, I just want to try it. Crazy bad angle to hit it from, but uh you know, not too bad. Maybe if the goalie was out of his net. <laughs> oh, let's go. I had to work a shot cancel angle because I I'm not I'm not sure if I'm guaranteed. Uh, look at that curve on that. Look at that finesse shot. I, I don't know. I don't even know if I hit a finesse or a power strike in that moment. It's good though, man. The five star week fight obviously very helpful because I get into situations like that a lot with different players, and when they have a four star week foot, it doesn't always come off well, you know. But uh, yeah, definitely nice there for sure. Um, I will say, guys, that with his body type the way that it is and his base card stats for dribbling the being the way that it is, I do notice it for sure. Is it a like a nuisance on the card? Definitely not. Uh, let me see the two goals I scored here. So this one was just initial explosiveness right here. So I'm not actually doing a one-two play, right? He sees the space, it's open, makes the pass. And then you can see the animation, boom, immediately explosive into that space. Five-star weak foot strike. Uh, and then this one here is just a beautiful, beautiful free kick. Just a little, little uh, top left cheese right here, you know? Look at that. Beautiful goal. Oh, this is what you guys taught me the other day of how to uh, watch the... Last goal when he quits. Okay. So this is good, actually. Makes the run there. We get to this situation here. Heal to heal. That's just a regular fake shot, so it's not a shot cancel. Over here, this is a low percentage strike, right? Like, you can totally try to shoot it across goal. It might not work. I go for a shot cancel, right? To kind of fake that I'm going to actually take the shot. I don't take the shot. You can see that the player overcommits a little bit there to the left side. Over here, this is a low percentage strike when it's a four-star weak foot, but because he has the five-star weak foot, he's actually able to bend that to the bottom left, which is really nice. Couple of nice last-second touches there. It wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah. After the skill move as well, too. That was good. You know what's crazy is that he made a really bad challenge right there. You could feel the vibration of him hitting your player. He should fall. Like, it's it should be a penalty. It's a bad tackle by him. Yeah, dribbles one well under pressure. That was pretty good. Good last second touch right there. Eh, not a bad finesse shot. It's coming off of a weird touch right there. Nothing special, obviously. Oh, nice try. That was a good pass there with Erickson, to be fair. Wish he intercepted that, though. That would have been nice. Crossbar is Ambrata. No. Mm, I love how direct that was. Beauty. Oh, no shot, Lozano. You don't score that near post. What? Nice, Erickson. Small little angle right there. Good finesse shot. Let's go, Erickson. Lovely. Two goals right away, eh? In the 70th minute? We'll take it, we'll take it. 
Lozano. Great opportunity. I don't, I don't know what to do here. I, I pressed shot and then like nothing happened. I did a fake shot because nothing. I, I don't, I, I don't know. The registration just wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Ericsson. fine ball from Ericsson. Can he put it in? Listen, man, Ericsson sacrificed his life for me to make that play. Playing it short. Oh, he forgot about the ball, guys. He's like, uh, ball. What is this ball? Yeah, so the two main things that I noticed with Ericsson is that uh, even though you're boosting his dribbling stats to be in the 90s area, it's not like crazy responsive, obviously, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, he takes some really nice last second touches. Uh, he feels... The best way I can describe Ericsson is that he kind of feels like authentic, you know, like an authentic football in real life. And uh, it's hard to kind of get that in FIFA because in FIFA, it's like, oh, this player is good because of FIFA, like a tall, like no one knows what a tall does, but a tall is just a FIFA card. Um, but Ericsson definitely has that like authentic feel to him from real life, which uh, makes it cool to use. I'm like, I've been having fun with the card, but obviously the lack of pace because of needing the finisher, in my opinion. And um, I would say the um, the dribbling those are the only two things that i noticed that are like aren't crazy oh he obviously doesn't have like the best attacking ai either it's but it's pretty decent like he still moves into the space well uh, i do like that he's like i would say like 70 percent explosive which is cool this is that's it kind of adds to the authentic feel of the car which is pretty dope i like it down on the players as we speak this is derek ray joined for commentary by former england international lee dixon a have... little bit of a thing over there you know a little bit of thing Oh yeah, that dribbling. Like I said, it's not crazy special, but you can work with it. The five-star weak foot wasn't bad. It was a little bit like lofted right there. Ooh, low percentage strike, guys, because he's kind of like facing away. Yeah, he doesn't have, like, like special finesse shots, but if he gets into a high percentage one, he has a pretty decent chance of scoring it. But he needs the finisher, though, guys. It's not like Griezmann, man. Griezmann's finesse shots, when I was trying him out, I was like, Chase! Yeah, I just have to wait a little bit right there. Just a couple of dribbles. You have to pray that uh, your player actually gets into an open spot there. That was a really bad offside trap. At least Ericsson sees that space right away, though. Oh, that was a really nice ball roll, actually. Fantastic. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Ericsson card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, uh, the pace definitely needs to be boosted. It would be really nice to boost that as much as possible. Um, I used the balance instruction for the cam but when you use the balance instruction for the cam they often go to the side positions and the defensive and the attacking position so you actually have to tell your cams to stay forward for them to be positioned properly because welcome to fifa um, but with this card guys he definitely needs the pace boost for sure the finisher chemistry style in my opinion makes the most sense uh to give this card because of the necessary boost that he needs in the finishing department as well as the dribbling department uh his dribbling is not going to be like crazy good responsive although he has the high 90s in dribbling welcome to FIFA uh he's not going to be like a crazy responsive player but it's still pretty decent he takes some really good last second touches uh the cool thing with the Ericsson is that he feels like a very nice authentic cam in the team which is great to work with I like the body type that he has to work with his dribbling stats uh it feels like I said very authentic in that cam position the way that he pushes forward comes back the high high work rates working really well five star weak foot to work with the passes and the strikes uh, his shooting once inside the 18 yard box with the regular power strikes do come off really well once he gets into those high percentage areas so yeah the only two things that I noticed not being great on the card is obviously the pace uh, and the dribbling for base card characteristics but uh, again with a card like this potentially being upgraded in the future it's still a very fun card to use um, the five star weak foot is obviously great to work with and I think he'll still be a very fun card to use uh, for the Serie A teams in the meta of the game but sometimes the dribbling might bother you uh, from time to time for the full meta aspect but that's kind of, that's just kind of how FIFA is I think the card is still really cool but I would recommend the finisher chemistry style uh, for your teams you know he's got 99 stamina high high work rates he's got everything needed to be a fun card in this game at the very least right so uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video I'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys